all things Apple Plus. Have you ever been in a situation where you may have forgotten your passcode, maybe your kids or somebody has purposefully locked your phone out and you're not able to get back in? Well, I got a great program to show you to help you and get your phone back up and running again. And that is Lock Wiper through the makers of iMyPhone. Now, if you have a chance, please, I would recommend to this to anybody, download and buy this software. There, It is an amazing, I'll leave a link in the description below, but it is an amazing software that will help you unlock your device if it's ever stuck in a, um, in a lock screen, or excuse me, not a lock screen, but stuck on the lock screen, you're just not able to enter in your passcode, or if you're just completely locked out. What will happen though, is it will, update your phone to the newest software but it will also remove everything from the phone so it will be a complete and fresh restore on your ios on your device and that's the only way that you're going to be able to get back in you will lose everything on your phone if you haven't backed it up but if you have backed up your phone uh this shouldn't be any sort of issue or any sort of problem so again once you download the program in the uh we'll leave a link in the description below Go ahead and plug in your phone to your PC and your PC should automatically recognize your phone. If it doesn't, go ahead and put it into DFU mode. Now, once it's into DFU mode, your phone should automatically pick, be picked up by the software and it will go ahead and notify you that, hey, this is the current firmware that we're gonna be downloading. I already have the firmware downloaded. I've already tried seeing how far I can get within this actual program before actually showing you my findings here but uh, I was able to download the firmware and actually upload it manually. And so they have that manual uh, way of doing that. So once the actual firmware has been verified, it will ask you then and prompt you to set your passcode at zero, zero, six zeros really. So once you do and click the unlock button, it will ask you for your registration email and the code that they've sent you once you've purchased the lock wiper program. Uh, once you do, go ahead and plug in your email like I am right here, allthingsappleplus at gmail.com. And then remember, this is your personal email or your email that you've used to buy this software. And then plug in your, uh, your product code and then you would hit submit. Now, once you've hit submit, they should, you should see the installation successful and then you should be brought back to the main page of iMyPhone showing that you've actually registered that you've you know this is your um, this is your program this is you know this is meant for you they have other different versions of the lock wiper if you only need it for a one-time use it's like 40 bucks but if you need it for a lifetime it's about like 300 some odd dollars for it but then once you get back into the actual application let's go actually back into it you'll be given a screen, just kind of giving you your information when your expiration date is and your, uh, how many times you're able to actually use the application itself. But let's go ahead and close that out. And then we'll go ahead and hit the verification setup. We'll go ahead and input our six zeros again and hit the unlock button. And then you'll see the removing screen lock uh, process bar below. And it, the, the whole procedure took about 10 to 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes to uh, get the screen unlocked and then about another about another five ten minutes for the device to completely reset so once you actually get past the screen unlock or the lock screen or screen unlock excuse me you'll notice that you'll see that the lock is unlock is complete we can go ahead and view our device from here and it will look like it is being injected with the current firmware the most up-to-date firmware just like as if you were going to restore the device completely so from there, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of skip through this whole procedure, this whole process bar, just because it does take a minute. And uh, just for the sake of the video, I didn't want to waste your guys' time with showing you how fast and how, you know, how, or how slow the whole procedure was for my iPhone to, you know, to get back and going again. But at the very end of it, you'll notice you'll be brought back to your main screen, just as again, as if you restored your device and you can go ahead and set your device accordingly. So for me, go ahead and English, United States, and then you can go ahead and do your quick start. You can log back into your profile, and if you have, um, uh, you know, uh, saved anything through iTunes or uh, through any media manager or just you know through over the cloud, you can go ahead and set up your phone 
just accordingly as is. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you this whole process so you know that I am actually able to get to the actual main screen and get to the home screen of, the, of my iDevice. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click through data and privacy, kind of just go through the whole setup of the phone. Touch ID, we'll use that, we'll actually use that later. Set up your passcode for the sake of the video. I'm just gonna plug into something simple here. Go ahead and use anyway. Confirm. From here, you can set up your iDevice uh, through the cloud. So if you do have an Apple ID, go ahead and plug that in and then plug in your passcode as well too. It'll just take a second for your Apple ID to, to go ahead and set back in. Go ahead, the express settings, go through Apple Pay, go through the iCloud keychain. We have Siri too, so we'll go ahead and actually, we'll set that up later. We have our app analytics, go ahead and just go ahead and proceed accordingly. Home button, display. are all set to go and it brings us back to the main menu of our iOS device. Now remember again this is completely uh, you know completely wiped out you're on the on a brand new firmware the actual updated firmware which is 11.4.1 at this time but as you can see everything has been completely wiped. We'll go actually back to the main menu here and uh, I hope you guys did like this video. I hope you guys found it informative. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll be catching you guys on the next vid. Peace.